So guys, I've had my iPhone 10 for a few months now. Time's really flown. And a great company called Sandmark, they reached out to me and they wanted me to review some special lenses they have. Now they have quite a few on their website. Uh, the one I have in particular though is to make your iPhone have a fisheye lens, which I think is a great addition to the iPhone because it already has a normal lens and also a telephoto lens. So adding the ability to have a fisheye lens is kind of magical. It's kind of like that third lens. If you could kind of combine the lens of the LG V30 with the iPhone, this is kind of what you would get. So this is what the lens looks like. It's actually very beefy. It's made out of like solid metal. It has glass, obviously, but it's weighted very nicely. So the lens works in two ways. The first way, which I don't recommend at all, but I'll <laughs> discuss it, uh, it's a little clip. So you put the clip on your camera lens. And then basically what you do, you screw, the lens on it. So basically the benefit of that is just a quick way to just take a photo that, and you don't really want to hinder your experience. Let me just show you. So that's what it looks like with the lens. And then this is what it looks like when you take it off. So that's pretty drastic. I lined up pretty well. Um, as you can see though, like your hand really gets in the picture. So when you start taking selfies and stuff with this lens, you have to be mindful to move your hand down but it's still so wide. Like you kind of aren't gonna get away <laughs> with getting your hand in it if you wanna take selfies. But pretty amazing just seeing the difference. But if I'm gonna be using this lens, I typically am gonna be using it for like the day. I know I'm gonna go out somewhere and I have some specific subjects in mind. So what I do, I'll put on this case that obviously came with it and that helps you put the lens on. So the case just pops right on and then the lens is already set up. It screws over the normal like non-telephoto iPhone lens. So one thing to keep in mind when you use this is not going to let you use the telephoto lens too. You can only use the fisheye. So again, this is what it looks like with this. And then when I unscrew it, that's what it looks like. So it's pretty, pretty drastic. I really like the effect. And other than that, like I can't really say too much. It's a good quality lens. The uh, color comes out, the images look nice. Obviously with a fisheye lens, the like center of the image is going to be more in focus and the outside is going to be a little like blurry, but I like that effect. And also like if you get closer to things, it will create different effects. So just play around with it. Have a lot of fun. I took this to Key West and actually shot some stuff. So those are the images you've been seeing. Uh, and I'll take an image. So here is a picture with it. Don't mind all my crap on the ground. And then here's a picture without it. So you can kind of see how drastic it is. And of course it works this way too. So if you do your phone sideways, it's gonna be even wider. Like with this photo, you can see my whole room. And then when I take it off, it's basically the same field of view. And of course, like you can use it with video too. With video, it does crop in a little bit. So that's kind of what I like. Since video crops in, having this wide lens makes it look that much better. So you could totally vlog with this if you wanted to. So you can kind of see like how good of a vlogging like camera setup this would be. I can get a lot of a shot in with this. So if you're if you're like a person that walks around town, you know, walk, does some like eventful vlogging, this will get a lot of the picture in for you. 
And also, of course, like this is a lens that's got glass on it that can be scratched. So, also, so luckily they were thoughtful enough, they included a little plastic cover. So you just put it right over it. And then also too, it has a little piece for the bottom. And then that goes in this nice little pouch, which you can also include the clip in as well. And that's really it. And as long as you can keep this in your pocket or put it in your book bag, you are always good to go. And then the case, like you can always keep the case on if you want to, but of course the case snaps right off. I actually love using a case on my iPhone 10. I am using the, um, the saddle brown leather case and I'm loving how it wears. Like, look at that. It used to be completely brown. And now it's like this like brown, dark, unique color. If it gets scratches on it, like it scratches. And then of course it just can kind of rub away. It's very cool, but this video isn't about this. I'm just too excited when it comes to technology. So I will be putting links in the description below to the Sandmark fish-eyed lens. I'll also put links to their website if you wanna check out their other products. I have reviewed their drone filters as well. So these are the Phantom 4 Pro uh, ND filters and polarizers. And they also have some for the Mavic Pro as well. They have them for actually a lot of different products if you're into photography. So I'll put all those fun links in the description below. Also a disclaimer, this video isn't sponsored or anything. They just sent me these out to review. I thought they were a pretty cool product. And they're definitely a way to take your iPhone 10 photography to the next level and definitely make your photography a lot more unique than all of your friends because everyone can take a pretty photo. They can all do the portrait mode. They all can apply uh, filters, but not everyone can do this live thing. You can't add you can't add a filter to make a photo wide, you know, like once you take it, you're done in that regard. So this will definitely step, step up your game there to stand out from everybody. Really have some pretty cool pictures for social media. That is all I got to say about that, guys. I hope you have a great day. It is the 19th, currently right now, very close to Christmas. So everyone have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate, or if you don't celebrate, that's fine too. See you later. Bye.